Okay. Thank you, Mo. All right, well, let's get started here. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a community call about the eCampus Ontario EdTech Sandbox Pilot Program. My name is Chris Fernland, and with me today is my colleague, Mo Shakurra. Thank you all for joining us today. We're really here to talk about a pilot program run by the EdTech Sandbox that provides access to technologies for experimentation. We'll discuss how to get involved and how we can support you with the onboarding and implementation if you want to try out new tools. A bit of, so before we get started, let's do a bit of classic webinar housekeeping. So we encourage you all to introduce yourself in the chat. Let us know who you are and which institution you're affiliated with. We're very curious. Additionally, we ask that you please use the chat function or unmute your microphone to ask a question during the Q&A portion. This will follow our presentation. Also, we have a live translator with us here today. Thank you, Christiane, for supporting us with live French interpretation. You can enable this by hitting the interpretation button. All right, I'd like to take uh, a moment to start with land acknowledgements. So for eCampus Ontario, it's important for us to acknowledge the traditional territories in which we live and work as part of our commitment to decolonization, the truth and reconciliation calls to action. We acknowledge the land we are meeting on, which happens to be Toronto, which is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabek, the Chippewa, and the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples. Toronto is also home to many other diverse First Nations, such as the Inuit and Métis peoples. We also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 with the Mississaugas of the Credit. Alrighty, here is our agenda today. We're going to keep it light. The focus of today's call is to provide an overview of the pilot program and what's special about it. We'll also provide a quick overview of the EdTech Sandbox, the platform, and then get into the pilot program's mechanics and how to sign up. Uh, a little bit about eCampus Ontario, for those of you unfamiliar with the organization. eCampus Ontario is a provincially funded nonprofit organization that provides support for all colleges, universities, and Indigenous institutes across the province with technology-enabled teaching and learning practices, essentially. Our objective is to advance the use of education technology and broadly digital transformation. And one of the ways we do this is through the eCampus Ontario EdTech Sandbox. So the eCampus Ontario EdTech Sandbox, it's a platform process and space, more or less, for education technology experimentation. The, the Sandbox aims to support educators and staff with awareness of technologies, to provide opportunities to test new tools, and to provide support for implementation or adoption. Our four pillars of focus, so to speak, are discover, pilot, review, and adopt. In the realm of technology, we try to support the optimization of teaching and learning through technology-enabled solutions. We also work closely with other biz business units within eCampus, such as the eCampus Ontario Experience Design Lab. With support from the lab, we provide paid opportunities to audit and assess tools that provide insights for educators and really meaningful feedback to developers to support product improvements. Bringing this back to our pilot program, a big focus for us is community. We actively help institutions with the implementation and adoption of technology through community support channels and a digital community of practice space that can be accessed with your institutional ID through single sign-on. You can get in at this community at community.ecampusontario.ca. My colleague Mo will touch on the digital communities of practice we host shortly. We can also take a walk through the space during the Q&A portion. So over the past year, we have been establishing partnerships with EdTech companies to offer the Ontario post-secondary sector access to tools that can support teaching and learning. We have a growing list of technology tools that are available for piloting. Mo will show you how to discover tools available for pilots, but before I pass it over to him, I wanted to mention that this pilot program is free, voluntary, and do-it-yourself, so to speak. You have opportunities to try out new tools for up to a semester in length. You can also give a new tool a go for a real classroom testing or play around in your own time for however long you want. For certain products, there is a limited number of spots available, and it's a first-come, first-serve basis. 
I know I just said this program is DIY, do it yourself, but in actuality, we are here to support you throughout your technology experimentation journey. And I also wanted to point out that uh, this program differs from previous programs run by the Sandbox. Back in 2021, we launched a shared services initiative where we distributed licenses during the pandemic. We did, in fact, call it a pilot program because we like to confuse people, but this year's pilot program is a different setup. The difference is we are not procuring licenses up front. It's up to educators, staff, and institutions to express interest through our intake forms, which can be found on the product pages in the EdTech Sandbox. So really by joining this program and by joining the Sandbox, you get access to streamlined support and resources that can help with experimentation and technical and pedagogical implementation. Also, we host channels that allow you to connect directly with product experts, a mix of company customer success representatives and educators with experience using particular tools. So you're free to ask questions, set up demos and request access to tools through our community platform and Sandbox platform, two separate platforms that are interconnected just because we like to confuse people. Just joking. I'm going to pass this along to my colleague Mo to give a rundown of the EdTech Sandbox platform, how to sign up for the pilot program. And again, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat or hop on video during the Q&A portion. Without further ado, Mo, I will pass it on to you. Thank you, Chris, for the background information. Uh... Let me walk you through uh, the platform itself. Okay. As Chris mentioned, uh, uh, we actually hosted a platform that provides a searchable repository of edtech tools. And uh, by clicking on the search button or searching a category or, an act or activity or a product name or browsing all tool uh, uh, button, you can see all the technologies. So uh, through various filters, you can discover technologies that meet your educational needs. We work with vendors to curate information and resources that help with technical and pedagogical implementation. You can select a category of products by clicking on this button, uh, academic discipline, we have learning methods, for example, adaptive learning, blended learning, and uh, platform language, and also Ontario Extend, which is a professional development pro uh, uh, program that eCampus Ontario supports that you can benefit from. You can learn more about the program using the link that you know, my colleague shares in the chat. And using this filter, you open it, uh, you can find the technologies that each one of the modules, Ontario Extend modules support. On the bottom, you can also see some uh, administrative filters like uh, accessibility, uh, LMS integration. Uh, also, you see some toggle buttons such as verified by eCampus Ontario, pilot and review available, free version available, open source made in Ontario, and single sign on. By enabling the pilot available toggle, which is the topic of this session, you can see 15 products show up. All these products have pilots available. And uh, if you click on any of these tools, it opens a product page. Uh, I'm just opening an example here. Uh, on the product pages, you can see the description, features of the products, learning and educators consideration, uh, product specification, which is useful for uh, administrators. Again, if you click on the expand and collapse all button, you can see all the information here and uh, Scrolling down, you can see the costs of the products, and also uh, you see uh, the resources section. Well, we host resources that support technical, pedagogical, and uh, you know case studies uh, of resources, uh, and you can always uh, submit resources if you have any uh, any other resources to share. On the right hand side, you see uh, the widow explainer uh, for each one of the products product screenshots uh, that help you visualize how the products can help you. And also we added uh, a, a digital community of practice as Chris mentioned. Uh, we host this community of practice to support educators, admins and you know, member institutions with product uh, adoption support and mentorship. The platform provides a centralized space for educators and staff to connect with technology experts 
to obtain technical and pedagogical guidance. Additionally, uh, educators can connect with colleagues across the province to learn and share best practices related to technology use in their classroom. Uh, the community platform is embedded in every product page, as you can see here, and uh, it provides users with direct access to digital, digital tool spaces. Educators can post questions, share experiences, and uh, seek support for any of the technologies they wish to adopt. We are going to share uh, the direct URL in the chat. Uh, when you open that uh, link, you see something like this, which is a standalone community space. You can click on login or sign up to the community. If you click on this, you can see, uh, you can use your social media uh, buttons to sign up to the platform. Uh, if you click on any of the spaces, you can see the list of the educational technology tools here on the left-hand side, but there are some other complementary spaces such as eCampus Ontario general space. If you join the communities, uh, you will get notified if we add any posts or any uh, updates to this space. Back to the product pages. If you go uh, to the header of the product pages, you can see a request demo button. This request demo uh, button uh, helps you uh, book a demo if uh, there's a uh, established channel for that specific tool. And uh, you can also click on the pilot tool, submit a simple form to request for a pilot. And uh, there is also another review program that we support uh, it's which is a paid applied research opportunity for product assessment and pedagogical pedagogical audits. Excuse me. Okay. So let me walk you through the educators uh, and you know admins process uh, to engage in the pilot program. After exploring and discovering the educational technologies that I showed in the uh, demo, uh, you can access the interest form by visiting the Sandbox uh, website pilot page and clicking on the pilot tool button, as I mentioned. You can complete a simple, simple interest form for the desired product. Uh, beside the general information about your name and institution, we also ask the number of students that you want to support uh, you know, through this pilot and how you want to implement the tool in your class. It also uh, provides the terms of use and privacy policy if you're interested to review them and uh, you just need to agree to those terms. Uh, then what we do is we share the information, uh, we transmit the information with the, with the vendors, simple information like your name and contact info and your institution every two weeks to the vendors. And upon handover, uh, we ask vendors to promptly contact you and to initiate a, a pilot process. Uh, vendors, educators, and eCampus Ontario will uh, collaborat uh, collaboratively work together to establish and commence the pilot program to ensure a seamless implementation. Throughout the pilot phase, educators will have the opportunity to, pro to provide valuable feedback, report any issues, share their experiences, in using the products in the community of practice. We also survey the program participants to collect data on product usage experience and share uh, the anonymized data with the vendors. So we made some function, uh, as Chris mentioned, uh, foundational changes to the program this year. Uh, the advantage of this year's program is that uh, you, engage, uh, you can engage at any time and request for a pilot whenever you come across an interesting technology and we'll try our best to support your digital transformation journey. There's no deadline for the pilot applications. Also, we encourage uh, active participation in the community space to make the most out of the uh, program. And uh, there are some scheduled quick meet and final reports every semester to assess the effectiveness of the pilot uh, program for learners, admins, educators, and vendors. The reports for learners and educators, which uh, takes no more than 10 minutes to complete, will provide a comprehensive overview, overview of their experience uh, in the program, including their ongoing participation, feedback on the benefits of the program for their educational needs, and any suggestions for improvement. Uh, these reports will enable us to understand the program's impact on educators' professional development and enhance 
their learning experience. With that, I'll pass it back to uh, you, Chris, uh, to introduce the pi available pilots. Sounds great. Thank you, Mo. Yeah, one thing I'll say too, we collect just some research on your experience using the tool, just to understand your satisfaction with the products. And yeah, like our goal is to also work with vendors to have that sort of positive relationship where we can, yeah, based on your feedback, potentially even improve some products based on the information we collect. All right, I'll be super quick here. So these are the pilot program categories. So right now we have 15 tools available for piloting. This number is going to grow for sure. So definitely uh, stay tuned to our updates as we have more pilot technologies be joining this program. But right now we've got 15 tools and uh, here are the categories of support or technologies that are available for pilots. So we've got augmented virtual reality, assessment, collaborative game-based tools, content creation, social annotation, and accessibility. From the top, like I'll, I'll just name a few, Body Swaps, for example, it's a virtual reality platform, really provides a safe space for learners to practice demonstrating empathy without judgment. Uh, we've got Engage as well, which is like an education-focused metaverse platform designed for educational organizations. Uh, under assessment, we've got Crowdmark. It's a really good adaptive learning technology, supports students' learning by providing like feedback on students' tests and exam answers. We got ProctorTrack. It's a very comprehensive, live, automated in-classroom proctoring solution. I know this technology, as an example, has come a long way based on feedback from the post-secondary community. Uh, Pandos, a learner-centered web application that supports educators and learners to overcome collaborative learning challenges in a team formation. We got some of you are probably familiar with Hypothesis, also another version, Readocracy, which gives people credit for all the content they consume online while flagging known misinformation sources. It's a very good tool for critical thinking. Yeah, and we've got a lot of other tools for accessibility as well, too. Uh, software that uh, provides a full suite of web accessibility solutions, um, other stuff that supports like compliance for accessible documents, lots of different tools. Uh, let's jump to the next slide, Mo. So a, a really high level checklist here, like the first step for educators or admin here are to obviously find the tools that you're interested in piloting. You can use that through our pilot page or hitting the pilot uh, available function on the sandbox. You simply have to complete an intake form. And at that point, we'll handle it from there. We'll work with the vendor to give you onboarding access. You'll gain access to the technology. And then, yeah, if you need support or you wanna understand how a tool can be leveraged pedagogically or understand how other educators have utilized particular tools in classroom settings, you can access our community space, which we moderate. And within this community space, as Mo mentioned, we've got customer success representatives that are there. So actual company representatives and um, actual faculty or educators with experience or expertise in using particular tools. So lots of support can be garnered for each of these pilot technologies. But yeah, that's really it in a nutshell. We This pilot program is meant to be an opportunity for kind of true to the name of the sandbox, but an opportunity to play around in the sandbox and experiment with new tools and yeah, leverage technologies to understand their ped pedagogical capabilities. We will stop the recording now and jump into the Q&A and here to answer any questions you might have. And we can also walk through some of our platforms, the 